Bevenidos Freight fans, welcome to the Horror Show's coverage of Mad Monster Arizona 2017. And look at this lovely lass that I have seated beside me here. Aging like fine wine, Miss Felissa Rose. No, Rose, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's me trying to be funny. Feeling bad? Okay, I love it. How has your time at Mad Monster been? Have you done any of the previous installments before, like Charlotte? Or, uh... I did. I was in Charlotte back in, I think it was March or, yeah, end of March. I love Mad Monster Party. Can I say it loud enough? Michael S. Rodriguez, come over here and tell them how much I love Mad Monster Party. You know why? Because this is one of the best directors I've ever worked with, and I have a bunch of films coming out with this man, and I'm very, very fortunate to know him. Uh, Last American Horror Show coming out this October through Unearthed Films, starring and Melissa gonna, Rose. And we're going to do The Deadly Kind, Deadly starring Kind. Vernon Wells and a whole bunch of other people. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Coming up this summer. Right. Yeah. So, what what compelled you to get back involved? It was some obsessive fans, right? You know what? I wanted to grow up. You know, I was a child when I did Sleep Boy Camp. I was 13 years old. So for me, it was about not just pretending, but really giving it a shot as a career. And I went to school and I studied. And fortunately, I landed in this amazing genre with great people like Michael. And now I'm fortunate enough to play in this arena and come to these incredible conventions. It's exciting and awesome. And, you know, many a child star has had their head all effed up from, you know, just like continuing to work. And it's like the juggling act of, you know, the overbearing parents in the school and all that other stuff. What were your parents' thoughts on you uh, acting in a film that had such a uh, memorable twist? We were doing a podcast a few years ago, and one of our workers, he's like, I don't remember the name of this film, but it really messed me up as a kid because this young girl that I thought was so cute, <laughs> she wasn't quite a girl. <laughs> That's right. Spoilers ahead. I'm the chick with the dick, and my... <laughs> My parents were super cool. They were always like, pursue what you want, your passion, your dreams. And I was just lucky enough to, you know, audition for this movie and then land the role of Angela. And, um, you know, it's been amazing ever since. It really has. And you're New York originally? Or? I know you I can kind of hear it in you. You can't tell just because I like chocolate and coffee and dogs. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was born and raised in New York and then suddenly I landed in California and made a career out of it. Now I'm producing. Awesome. What's, uh, what's something producing, at, at least at the moment, that you are super stoked about and want to mention to the Mad Monster? Well, I'm working with Michael on The Deadly Kind, which I'm excited. We're going to produce Producing as well? Yeah. Her, her children are going to be stars in it. Yeah, my children will be in it. And I have a movie called Death House. That was I was going to ask you about it. There are so yeah. many people in that movie. It like makes my head spin. I mean, you've got, you've got Sid Haig, who is here. You have yeah, Kane Hunter, D. D. Wallace, who was here last year. Yeah. You name it, Danny Trejo. Um, the guy from, oh, even the guy from uh, Supernatural, whose name is totally eluding. I love that guy. He is great. He's one of my closest friends. We adore each other. In fact, we're always trying to hang out. And um, anything I do, I produce the Slayer videos, and I'm like, yo, you're going to be in that. Or Death Edge, you're going to. I really wanted to ask you about that as well, because I wasn't aware of your, your production role with that. It was adapted recently into a comic book that I thought was pretty rad. John Schnapp, my dude, shout out to that guy. Yes, yes. Um, you came back to Sleepaway Camp, though, briefly for just a cameo in uh, the, the Return to Sleepaway Camp film. Yeah. Yes. I had a great time coming back because being an adult during the filming of the second one was outrageous because I got to see it through, you know, mature eyes rather yeah. than being a kid on set. So it was super cool. Do you have any, uh, like, stories on set, uh, the original film, like just getting in some, some mischief as a young, rambunctious girl? We were always in trouble because I, I had a crush on Ricky really? and so then we broke up we had to stop filming and Robert Hiltzik had to make us make up you know but then on the second one return to sleep boy camp Derek come here I met my husband that's badass he liked the first one yeah well I, right? well, well I was gonna say yeah jump on camera brother no I was actually gonna totally work that in because of the fact that I know that the both of you have actually done some horror projects together right man Aside from our home life, <laughs> um, which, is, which is a huge production. Yeah, I'm sure it's constantly interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah, I, I met her on the set of Return to Sleepaway yeah. Camp that weekend, and um, we made a cameo, and 
We hung out for like 72 hours straight. Mm. Yeah, and then we decided, you know what, this would be cool to tattoo ourselves and move in and, you know, make it official. We didn't waste any time. <laughs> but, but just to clarify, though, I know you guys did this design. Did you just perform the image and worked on a few things together? Oh, yeah, oh, the yeah, yeah, Caesar yeah. and Otto's movies. And um, um, Dead Things. Dana Dead Con, Things. Yeah. Uh, no Solicitors. Um, Which was the first movie I produced. So this is a husband, buddy, perfect duo of awesome movie, man. That's, <laughs> that's rad. Aww, but really our biggest cool. projects are coming up. I'm going to exit. Do your thing, Stay man. <laughs> So another movie that I wanted to at least plug because he was seated right beside you, Mr. Mark Patton, you guys just did a film together. Family Possessions. Yes. And I love Mark so much. And the cool thing is because we did this movie together, now we get to tour like the whole circuit and we show the film at different conventions and festivals and he's become a very dear friend and I'm fortunate for that. He's an amazing man. I'm sure you spoke to him. Yes, I, I didn't have the pleasure of talking to him. That was my, my lovely co-host, Marsha. But nonetheless, I mean, Mad Monster, just as far as the group of celebrities they always assemble, the intimacy that they provide for the fans, I think it's unmatchable as far as any convention that I've been to. You know, what? it starts with, you know, it's like the way they, the beginning of where the promoters are and who they are. And with Evan, you know, you just, it's just a loving vibe. And it's really family-oriented. That's my guy, That's my yeah. The minute I met that man, I was like, it's on. Like, I loved him. And my friend Rob Lucas helped introduce me to him, so that's cool. We got a lot of cameos in this interview. Oh, this is like the most cameo filled. In. It's, a, it's almost like Death House probably is with all those people in it, man. So that's one I'm super excited to see. And it has been a pleasure to take a few minutes of your time. Thank you for blessing us with it and with gracing us with your presence here at Mad Monster. There's much more coverage to come. And, uh, yes, make sure to follow everything. Felissa Rose, you have, like, social media or something you want people to... Rose.com, Felissa underscore Rose with Twitter, Felissa Rose 123, Instagram, Felissa Rose Esposito Miller on Facebook. Yeah! Go! This was awesome. Your party, yes! It's always a party in Mad Monster, you know what I'm saying? All right. Gracias, Ms. Rose. And until next time, Fright fans, remember, stay scared. So how cool was she, you guys? Felissa was one of the best interviews we've ever done on this channel, and so we greatly appreciate her for taking the time to do so. If you want more from Felissa, they did a full panel discussion and Q&A at Mad Monster Arizona as well that I'll go ahead and link to in the last 20 seconds of this episode. That's going to be over on the Mad Monster channel, which is youtube.com slash madmonster. Go ahead and go over there and you can subscribe to that channel where you're going to get a whole bunch of awesome content from the Mad Monster conventions in the very near future. Sweet moments like the Rocky Horror original cast performing with the new cast, uh, Angus Scrim's final interview, uh, uh, many, many other awesome things. So it's very worthwhile to subscribe. But thanks very much for watching this interview. Until next time, remember, stay scared.